Hi, Hiram here. Last couple of days I've been doing some tests on this capillary action stove. This is a short one that I made. I have another one that I made that was a little bit taller. Been getting lots of good input from this stuff. One of them that I got recently was from Daniel Lee, where Daniel suggested using, for simple crimping, he uses a pair of needle nose like these. This is a thin pair. Uh, you can have other ones like this. This is a little bit thicker pair. And Daniel suggests that all you do is you just crimp it on or clamp it on there and give it a little twist, and it'll give you the crimps just like that that are used in the capillary action. I was using this crimping tool that I just go up and just clamp down, and it it makes a little crimp in there. You can find these at different hardware stores. I think they cost about fifteen dollars up if you can find them. Another suggestion that Daniel Lee made was, he said, you'll get a massive speed boost and less fuel efficiency if you don't have the pot setting on the rim. This stove is made that you just set it on there, the pot on there like that. It's a stove, which is a burner and a pot stand. But what Daniel's suggesting is he tries it with, off, with stands, pot stands like this is the hardware cloth. can go on like that. So I'm going to do a test with that, see what happens. But what I wanted to show you here first was what the burning is like if this is just the stove just sitting here without the pot actually on it. I've got a bottom piece here that's the same size as this bottom piece, but without the crimped area, so that we can get an idea here what the flames look like with the crimp and without the crimp. So I'll have a half a liter, or half a liter, half a fluid ounce of methanol in both of these. See the difference in the flames? These are more formatted. This is just kind of helter-skelter. So by using a pot stand with this, elevating it up, this could get an interesting burn. My point with this was just to show you that without the crimps, without the capillary action, the flames just don't look too good. So what I'll do now is I'll let these burn out, cool off, I'll get my water prepped, and I'll be right back for a pot stand test. Be right back. Okay, I've got my water prepped, two cups of water setting at 60 degrees. I have one fluid ounce, 30 milliliters of methanol in here, in the stove. Okay, now we'll light it. Put on the pot stand. Again, two cups of water setting at 60 degrees. And let's see where this goes. We're now two minutes into the test. You can see the temperature was up to 137 degrees Fahrenheit already. The pot stand is getting quite orange in color from the flames coming out through. I guess I could have used something a little bit larger a little larger diameter so that the flames weren't all going through the hardware cloth. But uh, it's cranking out the heat. So let's see how long it takes to get to a boil and then how long it, it runs out to. There we have 210, 211, 212 and 355, 3 minutes 55 seconds. Okay, let's see how long it takes up it's gonna run out okay the uh, jets have gone out now it's just the whatever vapors are left on the inner part of the stove again let's see I usually call run out either when the flames go out or the temperature drops down below 212 whichever one comes faster Okay, I think it's going to go, going gone at 340 or 436, 436. Wow, that really cranked it out. But like, like Daniel Lee said, it chews up the alcohol. I'll say. Let me shut this off. So if that was something that you needed to heat up real quick, I guess that would do it. But it didn't last very long.
Not sure if that's a benefit or not. Also, there's some sooting on here. I think from it was heating up this pot stand so much that it was probably oxidizing something off of it. Didn't get that before when I used the burner the first time. Now for comparison, when the first time when I had the pot setting on this stove, two cups of water starting at 60 degrees came to a boil in 6 minutes 41 seconds, but then ran till uh, 10 minutes 39 seconds. For Mato New Pie, that's plus or minus a couple of seconds. In this one, two cups of water starting at 60 degrees came to a boil in 3 minutes 55 seconds, but then ran out in 4 minutes 36. So I, it came up fast, but I'm not sure that that was an efficient way of using the alcohol. Maybe if it was a larger pot, larger diameter pot, and the pot stand wasn't acting like a big heat sink. I mean, if you're getting this all red in color, that means you're wasting heat on that that should be going into the pot. So maybe with a larger diameter pot stand and a larger pot, maybe this would use up more of the heat faster, better rather. So I thank Daniel Lee for his suggestions. And like he said, it does chew up the fuel, but so I don't know if that's a good thing. But anyway, I thank him for his suggestion. I thank you for watching. I look forward to your input, questions, remarks, helpful suggestions. And as always, watch for my buddy Max. Bye now.